I've been at ATP for about two months now. I'm just about to do my private check ride, so I'm just at the beginning of the program. I think one of the major milestones I've achieved so far is uh, my first solo flight. Uh, to look around while I was up there and see, hey, there's nobody here but me, I'm flying this plane, was just an awesome feeling. I knew I was going to be a pilot when I was five. Um, I took a uh, Southwest flight and just the way the, the team or the crew treated me, I got to see the cockpit, I just knew that I was meant to be a pilot. As far as experience goes, when I first started at ATP, I uh, came with my private and since then I've uh, accomplished my IFR rating and then we just finished up crew and now we're moving on to our commercial rating so we can move on to CFI. So the cross country stage of training, uh, each uh, morning you just wake up at 7, you have to call it flight ops. And at the beginning of it, they'll tell you, you know, where you're flying to. And then you'll brief with your uh, partner where you guys are going to go to. You pick who's going to be flying in command. And then from there you go, you fight the aircraft and you get up into the air and you just do what you do best. The biggest experience that I got from crew cross countries is your aeronautical decision making skills. One of the biggest things that we get used to is when we have a problem, we look at our instructor and, you know, what, they, they take it over and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. But when you're with another student, you know, you guys have to work together to find a solution to whatever problem may be going on. It helped prepare me for a career with the air carrier because it allows me to work one-on-one -on -one with uh, the pilot in command and we both get to have a say on what's going to happen with the flight, what we're going to do, the flight plan that we're going to use on the flight, and just the standardization that really goes into it. The uh, standardized approach makes uh, the training environment safer because it just helps everybody be on that same page. You know what to expect from the people who you're working with. I know that when I get into an aircraft with another student or instructor, it's going to be the same experience each time. And I know that the person sitting next to me knows what they're doing. And that's, that's the one thing that I really expect to happen at airlines as well. As a student, really the support that you get from ATP is unparalleled. They provide any kind of written material, books, manuals, for flight. So at every stage and every aspect, ATP is more than willing to help explain and teach you how to really be a professional. To be successful in career training, you really need to have the mindset to be prepared every single day and to learn something new every single day because ATP's structure is so stringent. Uh, if you're not learning something new every day, you're falling behind. The Airline Career Pilot Program prepares students for the airlines through the use of a strict schedule, checklists, and just the overall sense of professionalism. We have recruiters coming in here all the time saying how easy it is to transfer ATP students to the airlines and their strict, rigid systems.